Our index of priorities is full. So if the first lady thinks that our, our problem is that we, we, we don't have enough missionaries, we have excess, we have surplus of uh, local missionaries in Kenya. We don't need any more from Korea to come here. In fact, we have too, much, too many of them. We can give them Ole Jackson, Ole Sapit, and Andrew plus uh, the, the, the renowned Anthony Mueria and uh, the, the, other, the, the other guy down here, Kanyari. We can give them all those people. We can export our own missionaries to go out to Korea. We don't need to import missionaries from Korea to come in Kenya. The direction we need to take as a country first, we need to take on these so many buildings mushrooming around the, every place in Kenya, calling themselves church. There are too many, yet they add zero value to this economy, making noise all over the place. There is no way hard-working hard Kenyans... There is no way hard-working Kenyans who own pubs and clubs can be frustrated when they are doing their business, yet the churches will be making noise, yet they add zero to this economy. They bring nothing to this economy, yet they are left to proceed with their noise and everything. And, 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 and questioned. So, one thing somebody once told me, if, if your friend, all of a sudden, you know she was dating a lady, and this lady, the, who is the, the fiancé or the wife, never, never used to give you, if, if the lady changes all of a sudden, then the lady starts giving you attitude, just know that they have been discussing you with the husband. It is common principle. So when, when the, the wife of your old friend, your friend, your very good friend that you have been friends for years, starts to give you attitude, don't even ask the woman. Go to your friend. It is your friend who has been discussing you with the wife. That's why the wife is giving you attitude. So, Rachel, this country, we have reached a point where we, cannot, we can no longer be, you suffer, then they come and dangle religion in your face so that to make you feel comfortable with your suffering. You cannot be suffering and what somebody can give you is just hope on religion. It is foolish, it is stupid, let's focus on the real issues. Like PLO once said, if it is the box that is the problem, we don't need to think outside the box, just throw away the box. Let, let us think without the box now. This is the time to think without the box.